Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be guiding you through how we can use our AuditSafe 21 CFR software to actually make any hardware or software 21 CFR compliant. And I'm going to use Microsoft Excel as an example of that. Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how we can use the flexibility of our AuditSafe 21 CFR and GMP compliant product to actually even make a copy of Microsoft Excel uh, 21 CFR compliant. So what I want to do here is just show off what we can do with software that we haven't manufactured here at Total Lab. We haven't got any developer input from their side. It's just a stock piece of software. And I'm using Excel because I know out there in the world of, of life sciences and science in general, Excel is very heavily utilized. So maybe you've inherited a Excel template that's 20 years old, that's got lots of programming in it to generate your reports or kind of do analysis on your data. Excel is very heavily used within the industry, but obviously when you want to transition to uh, a GMP environment, a regulated environment, you can't use Excel because it's not available in 21 CFR compliant version. Um, there's no version tracking, there's no kind of audit trail. So what do you do at that point? Do you then try and find a piece of software to match the 20 years of functionality you've built into Excel already? Or with AuditSafe, you can actually use that template you've got or the standard workflow you've got and be able to comply with 21 CFR regulations. Also, a use case might be if you have a piece of equipment that only exports results to a .csv file, and there are many of them, you would actually be able to import that CSV file into AuditSafe and then be able to complete your analysis in a 21 CFR compliant manner. So if the vendor of that piece of equipment doesn't have their own uh, kind of compliant option, this would be a way to achieve compliance without having to buy a new piece of equipment, retrain your staff on that piece of equipment and hope to match the functionality that you'd already be doing, that was already part of your workflow, that all of your SOPs are already written around. So first things first, I shall sign into AuditSafe and I'll get my password correct this time. There we go. Uh, just testing out the, uh, the password protection there guys, not a problem. So. If you've seen any of my other videos surrounding our AuditSafe product, you'll know this workflow and I'm not going to go through user creation permissions, that's on a different video that you'll be able to find on our channel. So let's create a new project. I'll call it Excel Test 2. I can add any notes here that I want to add to keep along with the records of this project. And let's bring up our test file. So this is a standard XLSX file, I think now in the latest version of Excel. Um, it doesn't matter which version it is. Uh, sorry, it doesn't matter about the file type, so it could be a CSV, as long as you can open it in Excel, this process will work. Drag it into AuditSafe, so you can see it's been added there, and create this project. So now we're on revision one of the project and I will check out a copy and you can see here we've got the Excel integration in this version. If I click this button here, it will, as you see, launch Microsoft Excel with the test document inside it. So let's make some adjustments. So you can see I've added some data into my Excel document. This would be presumably numbers or any data that you'd retrieved from an instrument or something like that, or if this was your template, this would be the, the various numbers that you've changed as part of your template to then go down the line and be calculating what you want to get out of your analysis. I'll save it and close it down, return back to audit safe and commit the changes that I've made, add any notes that are required. Um, Excel. I'll commit those changes into AuditSafe, so you can now see that we're on revision two. If I then check this project out, or check out a read-only version, let's check out a read-only version, you can see that the changes that I made to the document are now present. So as I go and build, build up the document, the template, whatever it may be that's based in Excel, that data stays um, within the revision, within the file, but we get the benefit of having our audit trail to the right hand side. So 
we've obviously got all of the features that AuditSafe brings to all of its kind of use cases. So I've got user permissions built in here that allow me uh, access to the Intel Excel integration that allow me to check out projects. We get all the functionality of being able to sign off the Excel documents once we get to that point during the analysis. So we've got all of that functionality that already exists within AuditSafe, but now it applies to Microsoft Excel in this case. If I want to go kind of back in time and see how the document has changed over time, I can always go back to earlier revisions and see what the file looked like at this point. So if I open it in revision one, it's just got the, the, test, doc, uh, the test document text that it started off with. So this is just a, a non-specific example of how we can use audit safe around pretty much any piece of software um, even software that we haven't developed for Total Lab, but we can integrate that into the system to make it 21 CFR compliant without the input of the developer. Now, we are working with multiple developers and equipment manufacturers to deepen that integration. So services that we can offer in collaboration with instrument manufacturers and software developers is perhaps the potential to lock down certain parts of the software, like preventing users from creating protocols unless they've got the correct permissions turned on and things like that. So we can be really granular when we work with uh, other developers and equipment manufacturers out there in the life science field. Um, but at a very basic level, if that option is not possible or those people decide they don't want to work with us, we can take your existing software, integrate it and hardware, integrate it within our audit safe system and allow the creation of A21 CFR and GSP compliant version. So you don't have to retrain your staff you don't have to change your workflow or your SOPs. We can just take what you already had and make it compliant. As ever, thanks for watching. And if you'd be interested in trialing out a copy of the AuditSafe 21 CFR GMP compliant software, or you've got any advanced 21 CFR or GMP compliant needs, please check out the links in the description below.